right, we're looking at some prints from the collections of the Library of Congress, Prints and Photographs Division. Um, these prints are resin coated RC on uh, silver emulsion paper. The glossies are usually on Ilford uh, multi grade or they might be on fixed grade RC paper. This is the glossy surface, or on the matte surface, it might be the Ilford pearl, or it might be the, uh, the Kodak end surface. Um, photos such as this one, this would be uh, Miriam Post Wolcott from 1941. This was uh, printed from the original negative uh, from the USF 34 series. Uh, this one's 058496D. And so um, what we would do uh, in, on these, um, the D series are all uh, three and a half by four and a half, and they were shot on speed graphics and other uh, handheld four by five or three and a half by four and a half cameras. Uh, we would bring this into what we called affectionately the Durst room. And there we had a few uh, elaborator B184, uh, 10 by 10 enlargers. We would enlarge these up to uh, a large size. We put them, uh, the fiber base prints we put in trays. And these we put through an Ilford 2150 uh, processor, which was not my favorite of the two we had. In the other room, we had a Creonite Promate 30-inch uh, processor, which was much nicer, in my opinion. But um, on these, uh, there's quite a bit of detail. We used uh, uh, Schneider lenses, or we'd use uh, Rodenstock or the other uh, photographic lenses. So this is printed from the original, um, from the original negative. But many of ours were not because there were no extant original negatives. For instance, this one here. This is Lewis Payne, one of the uh, Lincoln conspirators. And uh, we shot this from a piece of 8x10 copy film from the US Z62 series. This is Z62-92, uh, I think it's 770, 270. Um, so what happened on this is that at some point, someone wanted a copy of this photo, a library patron. And there were no, there was no existing negative of it, but there is a master print. So from that master print, we used a 14 by 14 inch Deerdorf um, uh, studio camera with a uh, Gertz uh, Artar uh, coated lens, and onto uh, Ektapan 4162 copy film, we would uh, shoot a master negative. Uh, which the library patron paid for. Actually, they paid for two negatives. The Prince and Photographs Division wanted to keep a copy so there'd be less wear and tear on the original uh, photograph. So we would make one for the customer and one for Prince and Photos, and then that one got filed and entered into the library collections. So now, if you needed this image, you could go back to the collections and make a digital scan on a modern digital camera of the original photograph that's in the collections, or you could go back to the uh, black and white uh, copy negative. This was printed photographically on uh, um, the copy from the copy negative. So again, this would be put in a large format and larger and uh, blown up to size. So that's what this is. This is on a matte paper and it looks like the, yeah, this is the Kodak uh, end surface paper. So this is another silver emulsion print, but not printed from the original negative. And that's the way it is with a lot of these prints. You know, they'll either be from a surrogate. Sometimes the Detroit Photographic Collection we'd be printing from the original glass plates. A lot of the Civil War negatives will be from the original Brady Handy Collection glass plate negatives. And then some of these are from the U.S. News and World Report. That's another FSA photo. That's undoubtedly shot from the original negative. And the other ones are going to be 35 millimeter maybe from the Look or the Life collection. These are all original photographic prints on silver emulsion RC paper. These are from the original negative. Some of these are really iconic. You'll never print from the original negative again on these. Beautiful, detailed photographic prints. More from the original. And so those are, those are photo prints.
Then you have, um, these are uh, modern prints. These are digital, um, they'll save prints made uh, from digital files using a modern printer on the photographic quality stock paper. Uh, there's Martin Luther King, that's from a look shoot from 1961. Uh, here's the migrant mother, it's a beautiful uh, scan that we have now in the collection and it makes uh, very nice prints, but that is not a silver print, that is an inkjet print. And of course, color was very difficult to do back in the day, but now inkjet prints, you can do color. Going back to uh, actual photographic prints, this is a gorgeous one. This is, um, this one is, was another one that uh, uh, in the photographic collection we would print from the original negative. Original negative was pulled many, many times for printing. Uh, this one is also a little bit challenging because uh, Roy Stryker, the head of the FSA, uh, put crop marks and drew them heavily on the negative. So there's actually more area on the sides to pull out of this thing. But we would always crop right to the line when it came to printing it without showing the line. So we frame it up pretty meticulously. Usually it took a little bit of dodging out and burning in. This one's a little bit flatter than I'd like it. But, um, you know, you always try to make a very professional looking print. Here's another Gordon Parks from the original uh, negative. So there's the American Gothic. A lot of these are from original. This one I'm not sure if it's from an original or copy negative. But the photographic ones have a really extraordinary depth and quality. Here's the, uh, here's the old Washington Post building. There's Leap Brothers Photography. Actually, this is a Leap Brothers um, ruler from back in the day. So there you go, a bit of Washington history right there. Or 16 by 20 is either in the sur any surface. And it goes on. And pearl. Here's some Manzanar photos. A lot of these were taken by Ansel Adams. We're working from original negatives on those. photographic prints here. Okay, this one is on fiber-based paper. Uh, so this is on uh, Ilford double weight and we, we're making exhibition uh, fiber-based prints and uh, we were uh, archivally washing them and so that's what this is from an original negative and it's a uh, actual fiber-based sulfur print. These are examples of um, inkjet prints. There's a modern one more modern prints. But some of them can look remarkably good. On some of these, a casual observer would not be able to tell the difference between a photographic print and an inkjet one. So those are inkjets. Back to the uh, photographic prints. Here's uh, more RC prints from original negatives. Here's a migrant mother. Now, I have two of these. Um, now, the migrant mother generally was not even back in the early 90s, they were, the original negatives were already retired. They had already done a lot of retouching on the negatives, and they, um, in fact, they t retouched out her thumb. And so there's only a copy negative existing of the pre-retouched one, and there was a copy negative made of the retouched one. So either version you get, you're not working from the original, even in these days, but these are silver prints from the copy negatives. This is what we were making for decades um, before we went digital. These are photographic prints uh, from a surrogate negative because the original was retired. And that is true of this one too. This one it was made from a uh, 01 copy series. But uh, most of the FSAs like these were printed from the original negatives. This again was printed. We put, it, put the original negative in the enlarger and uh, and made, a, made a proper print. It's another gorgeous FSA. Again, these are all made from original prints. Two of those. Here's a local one from the 
DC area. And in the park, there's a whole series of those. These, I think, are from the Look Collection. I've got a lot of Steve McQueen uh, photos and contact sheets from the original negatives. A bit of those. Now, here are some really treasures here. Here are some original fiber-based prints. Here's an original um, Ansel Adams Manzanar print printed on uh, silver paper and then uh, sepia toned. That's a real stunning right there. So that's it for the 11 by 14 uh, fiber base. And then these are just regular inkjet prints of modern vintage. So those are all from digital files.